here I have a uh, it's a treadmill motor flying mounted uh, as a wind generator the frame was originally built out of a back of a office chair uh, it was a little heavy so I took the part of it off and made these tubular uh, extension in the back to hold the rear fin. The, these blades are 12 inch blades. I probably got a span of maybe 26 inches, 28 inches with the hub on. These are, these are pretty good blades. They seem to spin real, uh, real even and smooth and uh, not bad. I think I paid 25 Here I have a frame I'm in the process of building. This is made out of uh, conduit, electrical conduit. I try to build it out of this to, uh, to kind of cut the weight down. I'm using 2 inch PVC to, as a mast to fly these things. And I need to keep the weight down. And this seems to be doing the job. I built this for this uh, 40 volt Amatec. Motor's kind of old, but it's still putting out 40 volt. Next, I need to mount the rear oh, tail. And by the way, this this uh, tubing is highly weldable, so I, I figured on doing that instead of using bolts on it. I'm going to run a bolt through here. Be the only bolt in the on the frame that and in the tail. And I'm putting an aluminum tail on here. This is an experimental frame I, I built, and the whole reasoning behind this is it's portable you could take it with you if you go camping or something or fit on any pitch roof the center part right here is meant to raise up and both sides will angle down up any way you want them and I got it mounted to this uh, Apollo wind generator I featured in another video almost fell over tripped on the guy wire I put these bought some Airx blades for them and they don't seem to be work, working worth a damn it came in a set of six but I got other wind generators I needed to put up and I thought I'd split the blades it was running just fine with the original blades but I haven't seen this thing spin in four or five days that I've had these new blades on so they're coming off another hub in the making well here I have my uh, mount mounted on my roof and my 40 volt Amatec and my other little generator, my my 400 watt Apollo. Well, as I explained before, I built this mount here so it can fit on a roof, fit flat, take it camping or, or uh, anything you want to do with it. And basically, this, this is it. This is a setup. See the, the center of it will raise up to accommodate the ridge. This 40, 40 volt Amatec is sure cranking today. And there's only about a 10 mile an hour wind blowing. The Apollo not so good, but it's still putting out a decent amount. So today I got some concern about this uh, plastic mast I put up. I might have to do something about this right in it because the glue just won't hold on it. All the weight is down here on, towards the bottom and I'm going to try to drill it and tap it and bolt it. So there it is all drilled and tapped and uh, some machine threaded screws in there about three quarter inch long. The rest of the pole seems to be holding up just fine had to put this 2x4 in here to kind of stiffen it up a little bit maintain its rigidity another shot at my another shot of my tubular frame that I made out of 3 quarter inch electrical conduit it's up, been up there about two weeks now and seems to be There's holding a big up this fine between these six bladed uh, jennies and the three bladed this one isn't even turning right now there's about a 10 mile an hour wind blowing. Maybe eight. This is taking off just fine and that, that little one is just not doing anything. My treadmill motor generator. 
that was up there where the Apollo is, but I took it down. I'm not putting out a lot of voltage. I'm only putting out about seven or eight volts. Don't know why. Here's my 500 watt grid tie inverter I'm running these two generators into. But I think I'm having a little problem here. Uh, when I hooked that Amatec up yesterday, it burned out. The, I had a digital voltage meter on there and it burned it out. And it should be putting out a lot more voltage than this with both generators running too. The highest I've seen this peak yesterday was about 18 volt. And the wind was really whipping. I think uh, that that Apollo may have a diode that's leaking, a blocking diode that's leaking. So tonight when the wind settles down, I'm going to take this apart and put another diode in it. I know the Amatex got one in it because I put it in myself. In fact, the blocking diode is right here. I'm going to have to put one in this line too, I do believe. Because it should be up there about 25, 30 volts. I do have a regular set of meters for this, for this thing here. But I want to put a panel up with a cutoff switch and a few other things. A load dump. And then I'll hook these up. But uh, <clears throat> people are getting ripped off buying these from these wind and solar companies. I, I ordered these from Japan. I paid like $5.60 a piece for them. And plus the amp meter came with a shunt. Uh, I, I've seen these going on these wind turbine shops for 50, 40, 50 dollars a piece for these meters. Don't get ripped off, just order them from China. My little, my 200, little 250, 250 watt. watt for my solar, my inverter for my solar, and you see the little digital voltage meter is working just fine on this. So it was working fine until I hooked up both generators, but I think I got a back feed on that one of those lines or something that, that blew it. I'm not real sure. You just have to test it, take it apart, and try it. And lastly, my fourth gonna be generator. I need to replace this rear bearing here. I replaced the front bearing, but I got to playing around with this rear one and it seems a little iffy. And I don't want to get it up there and burn out another bearing, so that's a project to come. Probably next month I'll have it up. Alright, thanks for watching YouTube. Have a great one.